plastic bag starting today in Wegman stores in Ithaca and Corning. They're trying it out there before the whole state makes the change next mark. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc shows us the change was surprising for some shoppers. It's something many haven't seen in a long time. People walking out of the Ithaca Wegmans Monday afternoon with carts full of only brown and reusable bags. Not a plastic one in sight. What we spend on groceries, what's a few more to not have to deal with the plastic bags and just, you know, these are so convenient. A short-term price, hoping for long-term results. I mean, if we think about the consumption of the plastic that we're using and where it all goes, I mean, it's almost unreal to fathom. Now, while some people think this is a good change, others had no idea they have to now dish out five cents for every brown bag and 99 cents for every reusable one. Money some people are just not ready to spend. You know, I'm a senior citizen. I'm on a fixed income. And when you're on a fixed income, you plan your what goes to where and to me. You know, I had to come up with five or six bags. Kathy Thomas and her husband use the plastic bags for many things outside of the grocery store. They come in handy when it comes to kitty litter, trash cans, and most importantly, their small business. So they have to figure something else out when the law goes into effect next March. Yes, I know it's supposed to be user-friendly for the environment, but I'm sorry, there has to be an alternative. And coming today, I did not know that this was going to be in effect today. A transition some will have to get used to, with Wegmans and other stores hoping people will make the switch to reusable bags only. In Ithaca, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. And some viewers are asking whether customers who receive government assistance will be charged five cents for paper bags. Wegman says yes, and there are no plans for a reusable bag giveaway. The grocery store chain also releasing a statement to News Channel 9. You can read it right now on the News Channel 9 mobile app.